Hello, welcome to Airfield Mixologist. Today, um, a customer just brought in a carb uh, for rebuild. This is actually not one of mine. It's in, it's from a customer. Um, so I'm going to build it up again. But before I do that, uh, I just want to do a very quick autopsy, and I'll show you. Um, well, this car has more issues than Vogue, basically. Um, but I want to show you a few things. Um, the things that I look out in terms of uh, doing diagnostics um, and I'm going to show you some close-ups of some of the some of the issues this car has and this is literally the covers just come in I haven't touched anything I, I still haven't done anything so I'll show you a bit so without further ado um, the first thing I want to show you is the <laughs> as you can see here there is a complete lack of um, return spring. So this is broken here. This isn't that much of a problem uh, as it would appear uh, because you can put an external return spring. So that's sort of okay. But another issue of this carb is straight away, look at this. There is quite a lot of air between the, the pump uh, and, the, and the pump arm. So, and if you look at this, there isn't, there isn't a spring inside it. Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, the other thing I always look out for in carbs is when they come in and the, first of all, the, obviously the throttle doesn't sit properly. And this is probably a question that the, that the cam, there you go. Yeah, so, so yeah, it's more or less sitting okay. Uh, the other thing, if you look at the, the secondary, um, it's quite, um, the, there's quite a lot of um, like carbon residue. Um, the, um, ah, obviously, yeah. <laughs> well, let's say that the, automatic choke is not working at the moment I think that's fair to say it, it does return though so this unit might be salvageable um, so now having done the uh, let's take this there you go so now having done the close-up bit let's go back up and I'll show you the disassembly of the car
Okay, so what we've done here is we've taken the shaft uh, out and yeah, I could see that this is uh, kind of broken, hasn't got a, hasn't got a tip to it. Uh, I'm going to try an old school trick to see if I can kind of price it out of here and make some sort of return spring. Uh, then what I need to do is take out this all these gaskets. These gaskets that were here, um, I call it affectionately the curse of the holy gasket. So this kind of brown stuff is brown stuff really because it sticks to the carburetor all the time and you have to apply quite a huge amount of force and you have to use one of these uh, just to kind of get stuff out uh, and there's always bits of gasket remaining, so you need to you need to look after that before you you do the carb again. So this is it's always every time I, I, I do a carb and I see one of this one of these brown gasket sets, which were the original factory sets, by the way. So this tells me that this car has never been open in a sense which is relatively good news but still I hate those gaskets and this one is also pretty bad uh, the worst bits of these gaskets are always around the bolts the rest are relatively easy everywhere there is a bolt they're much more difficult to take out Ah! Whew. Well, that was fun. Uh, this is my, what I call the proof of work. This proves that I've done my bit of manual labor uh, for the time being. So, I'll see you on the next episode.